G'day viewers, I want to do something a little bit different for me. I'm going to talk about The Walking Dead, because it's got me a little bit angry. I'm a big Walking Dead fan, read the comic for years before uh, the show started, still reading the comic, still watching the show. Uh, I know lots of people have problems with it, that's fine. Uh, I don't care if you don't like it, okay? In fact, when people get nitpicky about it, it kind of annoys me, particularly when people think they're being cool. If they pick on a show that's uh, popular and has some artistic uh, and technical merit as well, whether that be, you know, The Walking Dead or, or Game of Thrones or any of the big budget TV shows. When people are just criticising it to make themselves look cool, that annoys the shit out of me. So, yeah, look, not liking a show is fine. It's personal taste. It's subjective. There's no point arguing personal taste, but arguing that you're cool because you don't like something that other people like, that's just stupid. But that makes me angry, but that's not what I was going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the season finale. Obviously, spoilers out the wazoo from what I'm going to say from now on, and uh, the comments will probably be full of spoilers. So don't look if you don't want spoilers. And even uh, if you uh, only watch the TV show, I will mention a few things about the comic that may or may not happen in the TV show, because they diverge quite a bit. So... What happened? There's a build-up for ages. There was a big bad guy, Negan, the leader of the Saviors. And he did finally come out with his baseball bat covered in barbed wire. And it's, who's he going to kill? Now, if you watch the show and don't read the comic, you probably have not been able to avoid this. But in the comic, Negan kills Glenn. It was issue 100 of the comic. It's a big milestone. There's more than 150 issues of it now. Uh... And he bashes Glenn's brain in, one of the original characters. And that was a huge shock. And so fans of the comic have been waiting this whole season to see if Glenn died. And he'd been making all these speeches and doing all this behaviour like he's going to die. Everyone was getting dying speeches, really ratcheting up the tension quite well, I thought. It comes a point... Negan bashes someone's brains in. We don't even see who. We're not going to find out for six months, which is fucking bullshit. It's cheap. It's a stupid trick. And it's bullshit. And it's very weak to do it. That's why I'm angry that they didn't show who Negan killed. He killed someone, but they didn't show. So who was there? It's a very interesting lineup. The only thing we know for sure is it's not Carl or Rick. Because he says, as he picks someone, if anyone causes any trouble, cut the kid's other eye out and feed it to his dad. And you couldn't do that if either of them were the ones getting their brains bashed in. Now, the lineup, Glenn is there, and he's already sort of pissed Negan off a bit. Uh, and the other uh, original character, longtime favourite, uh, Glenn's there. Maggie, uh, Glenn's pregnant and sick wife, is there. And a few other of the core team, uh, Mutton Chops and uh, bloody Mullet Head and Dumped Love Interest and New Love Interest. Oh, oh, and nobody you fucking care about. There's one guy there from the town they're in and he's not had much screen. You don't care about him, okay? If they kill him, that is the biggest fucking cop out ever. I really don't think they'll do that. I don't think they'll do that. That would be shit. That would be piss weak. That would be terrible. In fact, if they do anyone but Glenn or Daryl, it's going to be a big cop out because we care so much less about anyone else. And I, a gambling man, let's, let's have a sweep now. We can all take our bet on who we think it is. Gambling man, I am going for either Glenn or or Daryl, because they want us to care. They haven't had a big fucking, oh my god, death for a while. I think this season, generally, has been done really well with the tension building up. Because, again, from the comic book read readers, uh, the gang really only had one run-in with saviors, where they killed them, and then they ran into Negan and everything went to shit. Uh, whereas in this one, everything went so well for them. Far too well. Like, they wiped out a uh, Saviour's outpost. They kept escaping from Saviour's all the way along. Killing a whole bunch of Saviour's. It was, you know, far too much went right. And it was ratcheting up the, uh, some shit's gonna go bad. And virtually every character was having a speech or a look that made it look like, oh, this is my final big speech before I die. 
So they've all got something to live for. They've all had some change. They've had some epiphany. There's something big. So it'll be upsetting whoever dies. Someone's died. Like I said, my money is on Glenn or Daryl. I don't know which I think is more likely. See, not killing Glenn would be a big fake out to the comic readers. But if it isn't Glenn or Daryl, they've copped out big time. And whoever dies, uh, what is going to happen from here is shit's going to get far worse. Um, the, the comic thread leading up to the reveal of Negan where he bashed Glenn's brain in was called a storyline called Something to Fear. And it was just this build up to shit's going to get bad. Uh, the thread after that is All Out War. Uh, and that's where, you know, everything gets a fairly epic scale. It'll be very interesting to see what they do with that. Uh, the um, Dwight, the dude with his burnt face, he has a role to play in the comic. Don't know how big a role he'll play in the TV show. Uh, there are, are other settlements we've been led to believe. We've only seen the hilltop in the TV show. Uh, there are other settlements in the comic, and they've been talking about other settlements in the TV show. Uh, so we will probably see them. Well, it's going to be all sorts of things. But yeah, god damn it, this... Oh, it's got to end on a cliffhanger to make people to come back. It's fucking bullshit. That was such a cop-out. Because you could have shown us anyone, and that would have been a horrible, dramatic moment, particularly if it was Glenn or Daryl. There is still much more weight if it's Glenn, because Maggie's pregnant, and she's going to have to raise a kid without Glenn if Glenn gets killed. So he would still be the biggest impact. Daryl would be the second biggest impact. Anyone else is a cop-out. And seriously, if they kill the guy uh, who, who we don't care about, that would be such bullshit. So, yeah, um, that's, <laughs> I just had to get this out of my system. Oh, should be. This is like father-daughter bo bonding time at my house. Uh, young Ms. Angry uh, is a big Walking Dead fan as well, so we always watch it together every... <laughs> If you, if, you know, if you're at my place with me and watch it, I'm just shouting stuff at the screen all the time. Like, why are you going down there? There's obviously bad guys in the trees. What are you doing? You, Oh my God, you deserve to die. What are you doing? I get a little bit involved. And I just wanted to share it with you. So, yeah, let's talk Walking Dead. I've never really done this. Uh, if you enjoy this, I'm going to be watching a few more shows, new seasons of... Fear the Walking Dead, the origin story. Uh, Game of Thrones is coming back. I'm looking forward to seeing what Lucifer's like. Uh, there's another series by the creator of The Walking Dead called Outcast, which is another comic he does, which I haven't read, so I don't know what that's like. And uh, what else? There's another one coming up as well. But there's lots of stuff I'm interested in seeing. One of my screens just fell off, so the lighting probably just changed on me really radically. I think my shed's about to burn down. I should finish now, and I'll see you later. Bye now.